This is the Scoutmaster. For some reason, I keep wanting to say Scoutmaster 3000. Anyway, like I said, this is the Scoutmaster. It's a shampoo brush, meaning it's used when washing your hair. I'm not really sure how somebody got the idea of making one of these, but I'll go ahead and read some reasons why this might be good for you. Scalp massaging is a therapeutic technique that increases blood flow to the scalp, which in turn stimulates hair growth. It's perfect for areas that have thinned from stress. This also helps with hair growth. You just have to stay consistent and be patient. All right, so I don't think I need to do much more explaining. Now, let's get down to business. These are the shampoo and conditioner I'm gonna use. In the last video, people were asking me which shampoo and conditioner these were. So I'm gonna tell you right now. They are made by a company named Function of Beauty. They let you choose your own custom shampoo and conditioner. So you get to choose the colors, function, and even the smell. I got deeper into this on my review of these products. So go check that video out. Now I'm about to brush my hair. I mean, now I'm about to wash my hair. Let's go. All right, don't roast me. I'm a college student on a budget. So I decided to make my own like um, cup type thing. I used the Gatorade bottle and I cut off the top. Uh, so what I do is I just go ahead and fill this up with water and then I pour the water on my head. I'm just gonna see what the temperature feels like. All right, it's a little bit too hot, so I'm gonna make it a little bit colder. So I'm gonna get this, put the water in it, and I'm gonna pour it on my head. It's a lot easier than just, you know, using your hands. It works a lot faster. So look at that, you see? I need to work better on getting the back of my head wet. I feel like it's always <laughs> very dry when I finish doing this, and it only gets wet from when I go over it like two or three times. Uh, you see, like right now, I finally got the back wet. So, yeah, I need to work on getting it wet the first time. Uh, so now I'm just gonna do the rest with my hands so I can spread out the water a lot more even. Uh, sorry if you hear noise in the background. I can't decide if I'm gonna turn the background noise out or not. Uh, somebody was watching a movie in the background. I might actually turn it off. But yeah, here's the shampoo. Look look at how the shampoo looks. It looks like a really satiny, silky, I don't know. It's just really nice. But I'm gonna rub that into my hands and rub it into my hair. So you can see it's not getting the best lather yet. That's because my hair is still quite dirty. What I'd like to do is put the shampoo in my hair, you know, brush it around a little bit rinse it out and then go ahead and do it again uh, it's just something I like to do um, not really a big reason for it it's just the best way to do this uh, it's actually a popular technique that people do not only people with waves but people like in general like regular people do it uh, who have curly hair and people who have wavy hair or people just you know straight hair or stuff like that all right so now i got the brush in my hand and i'm about to go in and see what it's all about see um what all the fuss is about um so i'm just taking it and moving it in the same direction that my hair goes uh, i'm gonna just do it on all sides the same way that i brush my hair uh if you didn't know I usually use like a regular hairbrush to to do this uh, to to wash my hair, but that usually messes up my brushes. But I think I might actually stick with using my brushes instead of using this because what I've realized from this time using it is that the brushes actually kind of work better than this specific one that I have. I know there's different type of shampoo brushes so i might try those out too but the one that i'm using hmm, doesn't really stack up to how a brush works um so i might try those or just go back to using you know a regular brush whenever i wash my hair
Now I'm about to go ahead and rinse the shampoo out of my hair again for the second time and then I'm gonna go ahead and put more shampoo in my hair just to get that better lather uh, since my hair is a lot cleaner than it was when I put it in the first time. So let me put that cup down. I'm gonna just do it with my hands just to spread it out. Uh, about to get the back of my head and then the neck area. Hold up. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, my neck right there. Alright. So now I'm gonna add more shampoo to my hands. You can see look, that shampoo looks so good. Like look how silky and smooth it looks. I'm gonna rub it in my hands. Rub a dub dub. I know you remember that from the kids channels. So rub a dub dub. Rub it in. Now I'll show you what it looks like. And just go ahead and put that in my hair. Now you can see. Look at the lather. Look at the lather. Look at all those bubbles. You see that? It's crazy, right? Of course it's not as much as some of these other shampoos. Because this is a, a natural shampoo. It uses natural, uh, what is it? Uh, ingredients, I guess you would say. But yeah, getting this shower brush and or shampoo brush. And just going over my hair. Look at how it makes my hair look. It looks like noodles in a way. So I'm going over it. Look at my hair. Look at it. Just imagine if my hair was a little bit longer. It would look so much better. Don't you think? My left side is kind of thin, as you can see. I'm doing this all blind. Like I'm not looking in the mirror or nothing. So probably messing up my pattern, honestly. But you do anything for YouTube, right? Y'all want it, I made it. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this rub it with my hands just to get a smoother feel because this brush does not leave it smooth believe me okay we're almost done rub it again It almost fell out of my hands right there, so I just got a different grip on it, you know. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my hands off right quick. Put this to the side. And let's go ahead and pick up the mirror and do a little bit more work. Um, just so we can see what's going on this time. <sighs> Tired, excuse me. <sighs> yeah, my hair looks kind of weird. Um, I might go in with a, a regular brush after using this just to, you know, lay my hair down a little bit better. I don't know yet. I might not, honestly. I'll rinse my hands off again. And I think I'm about to put my do rag on. Just go ahead and end that right there um, with the shampoo at least. Get some of these suds off so they don't get into my skin because it leaves it looking weird, honestly. If you put the do-rag on and then while the shampoo is still on your forehead, it, it makes it look kind of weird. It, like makes your forehead gray. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm pretty sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is what my hair looks like before I put my do-rag on. I'm just gonna go get my do-rag right now. I'll go ahead and give y'all this blooper. My ring light just fell and hit me right on top of my head. It was so funny. I decided to just leave it into the video.
Okay, so I'm out the shower, rinsed out all the shampoo. I decided not to condition my hair because I was running short on time. But now, let me talk about this. Okay, here are my thoughts. Whatever this thing is supposed to do, my hair is too short for it. Honestly, it just feels like I'm dragging a fork across my head. So what I'm thinking is, I'll have to grow my hair out for a few more weeks, then come back and redo this video. Because I'm definitely not getting the results I need while my hair is this short. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard of these shampoo brushes. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to press that like button and subscribe if you haven't already because it helps you see more of my videos. And press that notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a new video. That's it for this video. I'm Wade Man Mike. Enjoy your day.